Hi guys, in this session I'll be talking on the most important topics that you need to focus on physics as physics is one of the most feared subject in medical entrance and is a subject which uh, the people of engineering, entra uh, engineering entrances are interested in. So it's paradoxically the same subject which is a subject of interest to the engineers while a subject of fear to the doctors. So the fact is that uh, if you are scoring more than 80 out of 180 marks in NEET in physics, that is fairly enough to secure you a selection. Yeah, that's, she is, that uh, sounds really strange, but that's true. If you score more than 80 marks, that is sufficient. And in engineering, in JE mains, if you score more than 50 marks out of 120, that is also sufficient to guarantee your selection into a government uh, college. So I'll be discussing the topics of physics in the order of most important topics to the least important topics. So first of all, the most important topic and also the easiest topic is modern physics. Modern physics fetches approximately six to seven questions in need and it also uh, fetches a significant number of questions in JEE. And the fact about modern physics that is good is that it is theoretical and the questions of modern physics can be solved in a matter of 30 seconds to one minute. And that's uh, really saving your time if you know the uh, theory and if you know the concept. So in modern physics, photoelectric effect is important. Wave nature of particle is also important as well as atomic model is important along with the spectral series like Lyman, Balmer, Paschen, etc. are important. Apart from this, the nuclear fission is important as well as the radioactivity. These are the important topics in modern physics. Next coming to mechanics. Uh, uh, just a second. In modern physics, you can also uh, read NCRT and that can be sufficient if you can understand the concept from NCRT because it is given fairly good in NCRT and if you are thorough with it, it will help you in need as well as in the assertion reason questions and aims as well as in JE it will help you out. Now coming to mechanics, mechanics is a vast topic however the most important of these are kinematics and vectors because these are the basic concepts or the basic pillars of physics which you need to, uh, to be very thorough so that you can do uh, physics of advanced level. So vectors you need to be very thorough, integration differentiation of uh, uh, of a uh, elementary level you should be thorough, the area under the curve, the various equations of uh, various parabolas and uh, hyperbola etc. You should be uh, knowing because that will help you in your entire course in physics as well as because that is basic. Then Second thing is dimensions. Dimensions, uh, one question of dimension analysis comes approximately every year in JE as well as medical and that is very very simple that you can fetch marks that can fetch marks uh, in just uh, 60 seconds. So that is important. Then in the uh, chapter motion of rigid bodies the center of mass is the topic center of mass is easy and you can easily score uh, marks in that as well as moment of inertia calculation of moment of inertia of various objects if you are thorough with that that is good enough if you find it difficult you can leave rotational motion because uh, it will take a lot of your time to solve as well as to understand the concept you can leave it if you are planning to get into a uh, government college you can leave it that that will not matter now coming to work, power and energy, that is also important and as I said, if you are thorough with integration, then for example, integral FDS is work done, then you will be, if, if the function, if work is given as a function of uh, force and time and force is given as a function of time, then you can easily integrate if you are good at integration. Similarly, uh, uh, if you are good at differentiation, various things, various processes in the entire physics you can do with ease. Then coming to the third very important 
unit that is thermodynamics uh, the fact about thermodynamics is that it is relatively easy and it can save your time if you know the concept in this the principle of calorimetry is important the ideal gas equation is also important the laws of th thermodynamics is something that you need to be thorough with and you have to know its application the last thing is carnot cycle that uh, the uh, i have seen from the analysis of past 15 years that uh, most of the time the same efficiency of carnot engine 1 nita is equal to 1 minus u2 by t1 is asked and the question is a little bit of twisted but however you have to find the same thing and that can be done if you are thorough with these topics then coming to uh, topic of class 12 that is electromagnetism that holds a very important po uh, position and in this current electricity and heating effect is important uh, to mention that heating effect is more important in JEE as compared to NEAT then uh, electrostatics is important and if you are thorough with electrostatics the gravitation uh, it is relatable and you can do really good in gravitation as well as electrostatics if you are good at the, uh, that for example Gauss law, law holds correct for both of them and various other things then calculation of magnetic field uh, at various points and of various objects you should be very thorough with that then uh, this was about electromagnetism then about gravitation you that is an easy topic and if you are good with electrostats you will be definitely good with uh, gravitation because uh, they have the uh, same uh, analogy that can be utilized then coming to optics in optics the very important thing is the Young's double slit experiment and from that experiment itself approximately one question is asked every year in NEET as well as J.E. mains also uh, J.E. mains once alternate year it is asked uh, Young's double slit experiment then you have to be thorough with the image formation and you have to be thorough with the uh, various position of images found when the object is at different uh, positions of uh, the mirrors uh, and as well as lenses then the uh, instruments optical instruments such as te telescopes microscope you should be very clear with the magnifications because that is directly asked in the examination and that is a really easy question and that can fetch you marks in a matter of seconds so you can focus on that then coming to semiconductors and electronics this is moderately important topic and it can fetch you marks if you are thorough with that and for example the gates the AND gate, NOR gate, the combination of get gates if you are even thorough with that well, we have seen from the analysis that uh, one question is asked that is very simple by the combination of gates it is asked what will be the out output and if you are thorough with the analysis you will definitely be able to hit that question right other things that like diode, transistor if you have time then you can go through them then the last but not the least is properties of bulk matter in uh, medical it doesn't hold much of an importance and if you have time only then go through this or you can leave this entirely the uh, properties of solid state as well as properties of liquid state because it is vast if you consider it and if you read it thoroughly however in uh, engineering exam you have to be uh, moderately thorough with it because some good questions are asked regarding this for example integration of TDS means surface tension into area if you are good at integration and all these things conceptual questions are asked in JE so these were the list of all topics that uh, were arranged in chronological order of more most important to the least important in physics of all uh, entirely class 11th and class 12th in the comment box below do write the suggestions and do subscribe the channel if you feel it is suitable thank you very much